In this demo, I'll show you how to write a data frame to file storage in Parquet and Delta Lake format, and then how to read these file formats into a data frame. The Parquet file format is a columnar storage format that organizes data by columns, enabling efficient compression and fast query performance, since only the necessary columns are read during analysis. Its design is well suited for handling large scale analytical workloads. Delta Lake builds on Parquet by adding transactional capabilities and enhanced metadata management. Data is stored as Parquet files with a transaction log called Delta Log that records every change and enables ACID transactions. For those of you unfamiliar, ACID stands for atomicity, consistency, isolation, and durability. It ensures that operations complete fully, data remains consistent, transactions run in isolation, and changes are reliably persisted. Delta Lake also enforces evolving schemas, supports time travel to query previous data versions, and efficiently manages incremental updates for both batch and streaming workloads. Okay, so in this cell, I've created the same data frame based on some country's information. So I've run this cell that creates the data frame and I've displayed the data frame here. Let me write this data frame to file storage in Parquet format. So to do that, we can simply write df.write.parquet and then specify the location I'd like to save it in. So I'll save it in the file store, in the write demo folder, and in a directory called countries underscore parquet. And alternative syntax would be to do df.write.format parquet dot save, and then the path. So both of these are equivalent. So let me comment the top one out and I will run the second line. So that's worked. So now let me also write this data frame in file storage as Delta Lake format. With Delta Lake, we can only use the dot save method. So I would do dot df dot write dot format, and then you specify delta dot save. And this time I will specify the path as file store, write underscore demo, and then countries underscore delta. So let me run this. And that has also worked. So let's review the contents in the file store. So I will go to catalog, DBFS, file store, write demo, and here is the Parquet directory. So notice for Parquet, we have the usual marker files, and then we have the partitioned files, and they have the snappy.parquet extension. Snappy is the compression type, and Parquet is the file format. But when I go to the Delta directory, we don't have the marker files. Instead, we have this Delta log. This Delta log stores all of the transactions. It's a transaction log in Delta Lake. It records all changes and metadata for the table. And this is what enables the ACID transactions, the data versioning, the time travel, and all of the benefits I mentioned earlier. The files themselves you'll notice, so these partition files, are actually in snappy.parquet format, just like with the Parquet file format. It's this Delta log that makes this a Delta Lake format. Note that we can't actually view the raw contents of these Parquet files because they're stored in a non-human readable file format. So to read them, we would have to use specific Spark methods. So let me read the Parquet and Delta Lake files. So to do that, I can type spark.read dot format, and then this time I'll read the parquet file format in this line, and then I will do dot load. So I'll use this approach, the dot load approach. You could do spark.read.parquet as well. So let me copy the path and paste that here. And now let me also in the same cell type spark.read.format delta dot load, and then specify the path to the delta file. And for both of these, I will do dot display. So we can display the data frames, dot display. So let's run this. 
and that's worked. So we've got two data frames here. This is the result of this countries underscore parquet, this data frame, and this data frame is a result of the countries underscore delta. So they have both been read successfully. We can also specify additional options and methods if required, just like the other file formats. But one important note is that unlike CSV and other file formats, with parquet and delta, they embed the schema information. So things like the data types and column definitions are stored within their metadata. So in many cases, you don't need to infer or explicitly specify the schema when reading these files. So all of this information, such as the data types, are stored within the file's metadata. Great. So that was how to write and read data in Parquet and Delta Lake format.